Old School Sports, y'all, on the TYT Network. That is Robert Latal from Black Sports Online. You can follow him on Twitter at BSO. I am Rick Strom. You can follow me on Twitter at Rick Strom. And what we do here is we go over historical topics and we try to dissect them and come to a conclusion one side or the other. We have done uh, many previously, and now we move forward with the great rivalry that started with Indiana State and Michigan State in the 1979 NCAA championship game all the way to when they retired, respectively. It is Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Who you got? I got Magic, of course. You got Magic? Yeah, got, first of all, his name is Magic. Uh -huh. you, can't, you can't really go away from someone named Magic. But just from a, a, a statistical standpoint, in the end, when they were faced off in championships, Magic is, what, 3-1 and one mm -hmm. against Bird. And that, it took, for those two, that's the pinnacle. Now, all the, the, the assists and the rebounds and the scoring, that's all. It was Lakers, it was Celtics, it was Indiana State, Michigan State. Who wins the championship? And in the end, Magic just won more. Mm -hmm. And he had five championships overall. Overall, more right. Yes. All right, so let me try to make a case for Larry Legend make, here. Make a so case. he came from small town Indiana, mm -hmm. French Lick, which, by the way, I went to Indiana University. Let me tell you mm. something. I won money at French Lick Casino, <laughs> and then I also <laughs> lost money at French Lick <laughs> Casino. However, coming from French Lick, mm. he went to Indiana for like 20-some days, mm -hmm. and he was like, screw this. This doesn't Too fit. Big. I'm yeah. out. He took Indiana State, mm. who has barely been relevant at all, making the tournament here and there, coming mm. out of the Missouri Valley Conference, put the team on his mm -hmm. back, did not have a great showing in the title game, mm -hmm. but just the fact that he was able to take this team who no one can name outside of Larry Bird on the entire team, True. took them to an NCAA championship game. Cool. So then they meet up when they went off and they played each other in, what was it, three different finals, mm -hmm. something like that. And granted, Magic got the better of you. know who else he had? He had some guy named Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He had some guy named James Worthy. Mm -hmm. He had Michael Cooper. He had uh, Byron Scott. He had legends. Now, come on now. now let's not act like the Celtics. Now, hang on a second. Now, come on. Let's hang not act on like the Celtics didn't have some people. Larry Bird. All right, who did he have? Uh, Kevin McHale, uh -huh. Robert Parrish, Kevin Dennis McHale. Johnson. Kevin McHale can't even hold Kareem's, uh, I was going to say it. water, Gatorade. <laughs> he can't <laughs> even hold his Look, Gatorade. That is, that is, That's a huge mismatch. This wasn't prime Kareem. This was like 97-year-old Kareem. Uh, and 97-year-old uh, Kareem is still better than prime Kevin McHale. Can oh, you I agree disagree. on that? I disagree with that. What? I disagree, kidding with that. Me? I disagree with that. I disagree with that. 79 year old, because that's how old Kareem was at the time. 79. You know? Yeah, he's 130 right now. <laughs> Looks yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, just like Joe Lewis. He's 250 years old right now. <laughs> but, but. Except he's uh, dead. Well, that's what they say. Right, right, right. That's okay. what they say. Right. Joe Lewis is really 300 years old living in Las Vegas right uh, now. <laughs> the outskirts awesome. of Las Vegas. Uh -huh. But. At the time, that was a older Kareem. Like, he had to go ball because all the hair was coming out. So you had a young Kevin McHale, a young Robert Parrish. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that A Kareem, young Robert Parrish? Yeah, he was a I young. Would, I would still take an older Kareem over right. a young I'm, Robert Parrish. I mean, Kareem, look, I like Kareem. You're making I, I a think. case for him. No, here. I'm not making the case for him. I'm saying that those were legendary mm -hmm. on both sides. Oh, yes. You know, they're, yes. They're, they're legendary on both sides, from the six men for, to, eight, you know, was it A.C. Green wasn't even having sex, so I know he was charged. Up. Still hasn't. I thought he got married. No, I'm he got married, right? <laughs> AC, you say, it's all good, right? You still having he's having sex now. Just like right? the air conditioning, he knows when to turn, <laughs> turn it on. on. Yeah. He went like 40 years, right? Yeah. He was the real 40-year-old virgin. Yeah, that's true. Allegedly. Screw Steve Carell. You think Tim Tim Tebow's still a virgin? No. Okay. No, he, you don't all, know, it's all front. He doesn't, okay. he doesn't talk. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get out. I didn't mean to get Okay, we get off on another thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But in the end. Here's the thing. You're making the case for me because Dennis Johnson was a good player. You know what he was? A role player. Like Byron Robert Scott. Parrish. Robert Parrish, great mm -hmm. role player. All right? Kevin McHale, really, really great. Mm -hmm. Number two. Number three. Came off the bench. Started mm -hmm. when he had to. Larry Bird did not have the full ensemble that Magic Johnson had. Now, I'll give Magic credit, because mm. in that rookie year, one of the best rookie years we've ever seen, Correct. Kareem goes down, he's able to play center yes. because of his six foot nine frame. Mm -hmm. All right? I totally understand that. If it wasn't for some guy named LeBron James, mm. we would still view Larry Bird as the greatest small forward to ever play in the National Basketball Association. I agree with that. All right? Now, the argument that will be made is, well, Magic's the best at his position. I agree mm. because of his length and his size. However, he's still not greater overall than a guy named Michael, who also played point guard at times, and a guy named LeBron James. Larry Bird did not have anything that Magic Johnson had. This was anything. By, and, by, and by the anything. way, anything. Anything. He ridiculous. didn't. He didn't have this. This is ridiculous. I'm throwing he paper didn't have up a passing in there, ability. What? I throw a paper up. Go anything. Ahead. This is the Boston Celtics of the '80s. Uh huh. These guys were uh -huh. one of the most talented teams of all time. They have you one know of the great... more talent. The Los Angeles Lakers. I disagree. Oh. 
I, I disagree. You know what it is? You know what your problem is? I'll tell, tell you what me. your problem is, tell right? Yeah. You're hating on the white people. That's what it is. You're hating on the white people. That's what it is. So you're calling me Isaiah Thomas. You're a whitest. You're saying you're <laughs> saying that I yes. have the Pistons bad boy Isaiah Thomas in me. Yes. But I couldn't view Larry for being a great player. Not Larry. I, not Absolutely Larry. not. Kevin McHale. Absolutely not. Danny Ainge. I said Dennis Johnson. I said Robert <laughs> Parrish. Now you you tried to hate on Kevin McHale. You tried to hate on Kevin McHale. I tried to hate on Kevin McHale when he's put in comparison to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar just, and other statesmen. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Just because Kevin McHale looks like uh, the monster guy. There's no need to hate oh, on him. Oh, my Lord. He doesn't like the monster guy. <laughs> a little that, bit. He doesn't yeah. like the monster guy. You hate, you hate on the white people on <laughs> the Celtics. They mm-hmm. were good. They were. They have one of the the team that did, that beat the, the, the Lakers. I believe that was in 84. What are you talking about? The, the, the yes. 84. The 84 yes. is considered one of the greatest teams of all time, mm-hmm. of all time, mm-hmm. along with some of those Lakers teams. So to say that they, you know, so that are, he, you, are you really telling me right now that you would not take the full ensemble of Magic Johnson, James Worthy, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Cooper, Byron Russell, and Pat Riley as the head coach against that Boston Celtics team? Byron Russell played? Yes. Uh, a young, yeah, yeah. a young suave <laughs> Byron Russell, as a matter of fact, who's also aged really well. I think that that I would take, I would take the Celtics. Are you just saying? No, I'm that. not saying it. Oh. I'm not saying it. I'm saying that Magic. Mm-hmm. Obviously, made all of those guys better. It, just like any other superstar, just like Le- LeBron can make uh, J.R. Smith better. If, if you take Magic from Byron Scott, and what's the guy with the goggles? Kurt Rambis. Kurt Rambis. Yeah, these guys are trash. They got decked. They're trash without Kurt Magic. Kurt was Johnson. a solid role player. Yeah, he was what, nice. You, what did Kurt Rambis he did after Magic nice. left? Do you remember Kurt, anything Kurt Rambis did he after Magic? He was a Magic? nice player. You remember player, anything man. that Byron? You're, you're anything, totally dismantling yeah, yeah. who they hey, had. Hey, Dennis extended. Johnson. Won a championship before uh-huh. Larry Bird. Yes, he did. Yes, yes he, he did. So, so you tell but me. But he wasn't better than Larry Bird. I'm not saying he's better than Larry right, Bird. Right. I'm saying that you're discounting the Celtics role players. No, I'm well. saying that the Lakers had a better supporting cast no, of role I'm players saying, than the Celtics. No, I'm had. saying Magic, just like and any other. And that's why guy. it makes my point that much further no. is that Larry had less to work around than Magic did. I disagree. And he, and he pulled them. He put them on his <laughs> back like it was Indiana State all over again. You make it. And he said, Come "Hey, on. I'll put up 40 no. in a game." You Making it I'll seem, put up 30 no, no, in you're a game. making it seem like it's LeBron Best taking Best run we've ever Booby seen. Gibson I'll take Le- Oh, Booby Gibson. You, you make him sound Hall like Hall of Fame nickname. Gibson. Not Booby. a Hall of Fame career. You know, he's a rapper now. No, I didn't. Mm, yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not very good. It's not. It's not. It's not, right. it's not very good. Well, here's what I want to know. We made our case. With Larry Bird being the better ball player than Magic Johnson was. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts at YouTube.com slash TYT Sports and settle the debate for us. The next on Old School Sports. Magic, I think he had 10,000 women. We're already past that discussion, Robert. We're already past that discussion.